G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. Welcome to part two of maintaining the edge. I seem to have uh, shot up a full 15 minutes just in preparing to do some fencing and getting here. Here, here being the spot where the ratty fence begins at the end of the previous repair. Don't worry too much about this. It is but a bundle that somebody else had previously collected, which I intend to splice back in in order to save my own new wire. Reuse, recycle. So I'll hook it there onto the strainer post and we'll follow that bottom wire and we'll see where it goes turns out it's the second bottom wire and it does not go very far at the next fence post we find the end of it corroded to the blazers and it seems to be attached at least when you pull on it it doesn't give way for an awfully long way down the fence and the gap is only about five meters so we approach the getangled web extract a few bits of wire that between them look like they might perhaps fill the gap collect your pliers and your strainers okay so the idea is to join these two so we're going to have to cut back a little bit into both of them to get a decent end Okay, so everybody does this differently, but this is kind of like the way I like to do it. Make a loop. You can do all sorts of other fancy stuff, but that is going to get the job done. Okay, so kind of the same thing with the other end. Get rid of, the, rid of the bit that's rusted away. Should be okay, yep. Hook the two of them together. And now they're connected up. Use the same tool in the same way. Okay, so that's that one. So now we have the length. So now we apply the strainers and we pull the two ends of the wire together and tie them off. And if all goes well, you should get to be able to see that live and in real time as it occurs. So Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, not much wrong with that. Other than might get a slightly neater go of it.
definitely not rocket science, is it? And we have, well, we've rooted there, so we've only wasted a foot of fencing wire. Right, and that just about makes it impossible for the sheep to get in or out. And that brings me to a bit of a difficulty because I can fix this fence and I can stop sheep coming from the badlands through this fence. Trouble is once you get past the end of my boundary, there's nobody fixing the other end of this fence. And if the sheep go through the fallen down fence and onto the sawmilling block, the sawmiller and I don't have a fence. So then, because the sawmiller has no water, they come around you know, my place, they have a drink down there at the dam, and then they find they can't get out to talk to their mates. So I have this ongoing problem of the unfenced boundary. But at least if I have my boundary fence between me and the sheep farmer in as good a condition as I can make the uh, 100 and 35 year old fence display then at least I can count on him coming up here to collect the sheep every time they escape as sheep do because they would much prefer to live on my side of the fence and that's pretty much it. That's how I splice tired, old, discarded bits of fencing wire back into the fence and I put the bastards back into service. And then, of course, having strained it up and thought myself fairly clever, it's time to go for a bit of a walk and find all the places where fallen trees and bits of sticks were holding the fence down, giving an entirely false sense of how strained or not strained the wire actually is. So now I get to free that and come to the conclusion that on balance it probably doesn't need restraining that'll be good enough because the next item on the agenda is of course the actual bottom wire as it snakes across the ground to the fencing of the post so to those of you who've been wondering why I haven't been posting quite as often as usual, pretty big part of it is because I've been spending all my spare time in decent weather out here maintaining the edge. And when it's been eight degrees and really windy and overcast and cloudy, that's not really the kind of video, uh, video making weather. So therefore I've been sitting in the hut feeding the fire, but today, pretty good day, so therefore I'm fixing the fence. And I've made not one but two videos about maintaining the edge. And I wouldn't say it's particularly good fun, but it is sort of satisfying when you find the wire that's been missing for years and resurrect it. So, we wire on the old fence post and on the end of that we fashion a tied off loop and then we just hook straight into that the same way as before 
And the big trick is never to lose this. And then it's merely a matter of walking the line and joining the bits. Because there's plenty of those. And believe it or not, I'm getting a battery warning light from this phone, so might call a halt there before the battery decides to dump this whole attempt at recording. Maintaining the edge part two warbles on a lot to YouTube. Fencing pliers and strainers. Ciao.